Hi, sorry for late upload. My PC's graphic card had some issues so could not make any video. Anyway, let's get the video started. For adding mods to Snorner version 16.1, you will need the following. Number 1. Snorner mod installer, whose link is given either in description or pinned comment. Number 2. Snorner version 10.1 from e because it's the only version with which mods can be downloaded. Number 3. Snorner version 16.1 to play the recent version, and I would suggest you to get the Steam version. Number 4. Authentication.json file, which I will show you how to fill up to make the mods work. Assuming you have downloaded all the files, let's start the steps. First, go to tomod.io and create an account if you don't have any. If you already have an account, then you can prox to the next step. Now install the mod installer that you downloaded earlier. After it installs it will open a window with two options. Click the option that says, subscribe to install. A dialog box will pop up of Snorner config asking for your mod.io email and other things. If this doesn't pop up automatically, click on file and then on option to open it. Now fill up the config dialog box. In the first box it says select save game folder. Click on the browse and select the save game folder. It will be in your document My Game Snorener Base Storage. In the next field, enter your email ID with which you created your mod.io account. In the next field, it says enter your API key. To get your click on the bottom left option that says obtain API key from mod.io, it will open World Browser leading to your mod.io profile where you will see an option called API key. Click on copy option to copy it and then paste it in the API key field in the config dialog box. Now click on get email code, a email with an OTP will be sent. Copy that OTP and paste it in the field that says code received an email. After that click on get new token you will notice the token field will get filled. We will need this token in the next step. Now the most tricky part. That is creating the authentication file. Open the authentication file with Notepad or Notepad++. The first point says access token. Copy the token that we got from the mod installer in the previous step and paste it between the quotations. Be extremely care as the token is very long. So copy it carefully so the full token is copied. Next you need to edit the field that says ID inside quotations. To get your mod.io ID you need to go to your mod.io profile. Then go to API access and scroll down. There will a heading called client under which a text will be written in the from member followed by a seven digit number. That seven digit number is your ID copy and then paste in as shown in video. Next we need to edit a field that says name underscore ID. For this again head to your mod.io profile, and then click on profile. Scroll down to the heading that says profile URL then copy the text in its box and paste it in the authentication.json file between quotations as shown. Next field to be edited is the profile URL form. This simply go to, to your profile in any browser, and copy the URL from the search box and paste it between quotations as shown. That last field that needs to be filled up is the username. For this again go to your mod.io profile and copy your username and paste it as shown. After this save the authentication.json file. File. After saving right click on the file and go to properties, and then turn on read only. This step is extremely important otherwise, when you will start a game, the file will get deleted. Now place the file inside documents my game snore in your base mods mod.io folder.
Now assuming you have both a version of the game installed, open version 10.1 of the game. Then head to mods the mod page show load then you can simply subscribe and download the mod. Mods, but do not play the mods with this version. Just wait for it to download. After it says download successful, close this version and open the new version. In this it will say mod.io is offline but you can enable or disable the mods that you downloaded using the older version. That's it for this video, in short you download the mods using the older version and play using the new version and for any other query leave a comment. Thank you and do subscribe and hit the like button.